there's a new show in town. It was here once before, but it's arrived back in San Francisco for a return appearance. And it's better than ever, and it's called Laserium, a light music show that can hypnotize you. I know from seeing it last week, and after seeing it, I just had to find out what it takes to create a show of dancing lights. These are the hands of a laserist, an electronic musician who makes one laser light dance. All done with a panel of instruments called names like choppers, cycloids, and modulators. He makes the light do things like this. But how does all this work? We have one laser that produces a very bright spot, which you see up on the dome right now. We can take that laser and using a prism, break it up into four colors, red, yellow, green, and blue. And then what we can do is we can make the dots move very fast or very slowly. I can ha I have a joystick here on my console and I can make them move around according to where I want them to move in my hand. I can move them in a circle or back and forth. And if I move them fast enough, you notice a strange thing happening. They begin to form lines. And then there are circles. By adding circles on top of circles, I can get very complex laser patterns. Then they put all this dial twisting to music. Like the rock show, It's Hard by The Who, that is now playing at the Morrison Planetarium in Golden Gate Park. The basic choreography, which is uh, created by the uh, artist down in Los Angeles, uh, is recorded on the tape, but that is just a basic choreography. Anything that happens above the basic choreography, which is putting things up on the dome, deciding which backgrounds we want, is decided right here at the panel. So if I want to make things jump in and out fast, I can turn my spirals up real fast, or I can turn them down really slow, and I can make everything go with the music here. With all of this to orchestrate, does Ron ever make mistakes? Do I make mistakes? I make mistakes all the time. Fortunately, I think nobody notices them. And when I can, I correct them as quickly as possible. The only frustrating thing is sometimes I make a mistake and they clap louder. If you saw the Laserium show a few years ago, when it was here in San Francisco, it has now changed as scientific advances have changed the laser's capabilities. The electronics have gotten better, the effects, much many more effects, and this panel has been increased in complexity by at least 100 times. And as much as electronics have changed the laserist, the laser language expands. These are the digital cycloids, and with the digital cycloids, these are the amplitude controls. These are symmetry. I can make them squish one way or the other. Master shutter, which should have been off. We have joystick overrides, cycloid overrides, motors, motor speeds. And as you can uh, see, all this dial coordinating must take some practice. If I just sat here and watched what was the basic choreography, what happens from tape control, it would be ex an extremely boring show, and so I have to get in practice to uh, elaborate upon that basic choreography. This original laser show has been away from San Francisco for two and a half years, but Ron says as long as there's people to come to see it, it's here to stay. And as long as this man keeps twiddling that one laser light into many, many patterns. That show takes about an hour, and you just sit there, and you're just engulfed <laughs> in all this music. I can hardly believe it. But they also have a children's show that's a lot of fun, so people that are sitting home with their kids this week, it might be a good thing to look into.